You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, today we're going to be looking at a new application for the iPad called Sword Shots. I know it's one of the complaints that I've had with the iPad is there's no way to take all of your photos and mark the ones that you want to keep and show to a client or friends and family. And Sword Shots will solve all of those issues for you. You can choose the ones you like, you can share them on social media networks, you can make slideshows, play music, all kinds of things. So let's take a look at Sword Shots for the iPad. Sort Shots is an application for the iPad that allows you to sort the photos on your iPad. So when you first open it, it indexes the photos that are already in Sort Shots. Now the thing is, it doesn't automatically add all of the photos that are on your iPad to Sort Shots. You need to do that yourself. So I've preloaded this with some of the photos that I've taken with a new camera that I'm trying out. Or I could just go to Add Photos. And then all of my photos that are on my iPad, I could just bring those in one at a time. Or a better way to do it is just to sync it using iTunes, and you can bring those right into Sort Shots, and it's a really a much faster way to do that. So once the photos are in Sort Shots, you have all kinds of ways to categorize them, rate them, and mark them. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to go down here to these pictures right here, and by tapping on them, they get a little checkbox next to them. Now these are all pictures of my wife and so I'm going to tag them and say tag and these are yes people for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say these are family pictures and I've added a custom tag which you can do um, and that custom tag is wife and I also added another custom tag called Diane. Uh, and you can add all kinds of different custom tags. You can make as many as you want. You can have subcategories and main categories. So we have people, family, and then Diane. And so you can categorize them in many, many different ways. So I've just tagged all of those. I'll hit done. Now the next thing I want to do is take a look at these and rate them. So this picture here, I'll go ahead and uh, tap on it. It brings it up on full screen. And I say, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to rate that three stars. Now I can rate it that way. Or I can go back to sort shots and I can just rate them right here and say, well, that one is a three star one. And anything that I've checked will automatically rate. So what I need to do is either manually unselect those or I can hit this clear selected button. And now when I'm rating, it only rates the photo that I tap. Now these are sort of hard to see because they're small, but what you can do is you can slide this slider down here and it makes the photos large or even larger if you slide it all the way to the right. Now what I can do is I have a better look at the thumbnail. I can scroll around and say, oh, now there's a picture of my dog that I really love. Four stars on that one. I'll assign a tag on that. Um, I didn't select the image first, so I selected it. I'll assign a tag and I'll go in here and I'll say, you know, yes, this is family because he's my dog. And I'm not selecting any of the subcategories. So I'm just saying family. And then later I could go in and put dog or Cody, which is our dog's name. So I'm doing all those kinds of things. Now the other thing I can do is if I really love a photo, like I really like this picture of my dog, I can push and hold and it will say, do you want to add or remove a favorite? Well, I want this to be one of my favorites. So I'll say that's a favorite and a little heart pops up there, which is really groovy. Now I can also do that in a different way. So let's say I go down here to a black and white shot that I did of Diane. I will double click that. So it opens up full screen. And then I can go ahead and push this favorite tag right there and it marks it as a favorite. When I go back here to sort shots, you'll see that it's got a little heart there. Now that we have those things done, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And the other nice thing about this is we've categorized pictures. We've marked some as favorites. Uh, we have uh, done all kinds of things. So I'm going to unmark these guys. I'm going to hit clear selected. The next thing I want to do is I want to actually sort these photos in a specific order. So then I can show a slideshow. So what I can do here is I can go to this sort button and it has all different options here. File name, date, size, rating, or custom. I'm going to choose custom. And what this will allow me to do is I can now drag and drop images around. So let's say I want Cody to be moved down here. I'll just take his picture, pop him in right there. If I want uh, all my scenic photos to be at the first, I can move this up to the first. It pops everything over. I'll take this shot, move it over. And you can do that until you have everything in the exact order that you want. And then you can actually make a slideshow. So once that's done, I'll hit play. And then up comes my slideshow. Now this slideshow is just the default. You can change the durations of the photos. You can do all kinds of things. I can make it full screen if I want so we don't have that menu bar. And it just plays uh, nice and, and smoothly. 
Now, the one thing that I wish it had were more transitions. It has a wipe left and a wipe up. That's it. It does not have a dissolve or any other normal transitions. So once I have that, I'll double tap this and then I'll hit stop. You can also play music with a slideshow. We don't have the rights to play any music, so we're just showing it without music. But you can do that by adding music through your iTunes library. You can customize everything by hitting this, and you have repeat and shuffle and show how long you can play slides for, all of that kind of stuff. So it's right there. Once you have something that is uh, set up the way that you want it, you can save that sort. So you can say, I want to save this sort as, you know, my family slideshow or whatever, and you can have many of those. Now, the nice thing is you can also do some really robust um, filtering. So let's say that I want to go in here and I'll hit sort, and I want to only look at uh, photos that are rated three stars. So I'll hit three stars, and bammo, those are only my photos that are rated three stars. Now, if I want to go here and get rid of all those stars, everything comes back. I only want to look at pictures that are tagged wife. And you'll see there's all the pictures that are of Diane. Or again, I can go in here and say I want wife or anything that is family. Um, and so I'll undo wife there and you can see now Cody has been added. Or I can say, you know what? Just show me none of that. Just give me my favorites. And there are my favorites. So there is Diane and Cody. It's really terrific. Now that's always nice, but now let's talk about sharing because that's really what you want to do. I can hit share. I can say, please select images. So I'll select this one. I'll select this one. Once I hit share, it's going to ask me where I want to share that to Flickr, Picasa, Twitter, or Facebook. So this is totally integrated with online social media sites. So it's really, really nice, a very robust application. Lots of different options for slicing and dicing photos and then finding them later and showing them to clients or sharing online. Well, there you have it, Sort Shots for the iPad, a great application for sorting and sharing photos on the iPad. Well, if you have questions about iPad applications or a, a suggestion for an iPad application that we should review, please send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. Well, thanks for joining me this week, and I'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.